Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today is Monday, which means it's time for an episode of Loadout. This series where you guys, the viewers, get to pick a gun and customization for me to use in Battlefield 4. The way you do this is you leave a comment down below letting me know what kind of weapon and accessories you'd like me to run with, and I will pick one of the top-rated comments for the next episode. Today's top comment comes from Gadden Kidulus, who says, USMC Scout Sniper Loadout. Recon with the M40A5, 8x scope or 20x scope. I'll be using the 8 times. definitely not going for 20. We're going to use a variable zoom, straight pull bolt. He says flash hider is optional, so I choose to go without it. Then we're going to go with the sidearm with the M9 and no attachments. Gadgets will be a C4 and PLD, M67 for the frag grenade, bayonet knife for a melee weapon, and field upgrade will be sniper. For camouflage, he wants us to use Marpat or Marpat Desert, although there's technically no Marpat camo in the game. I tried to pick something that looks similar. Then he writes, a USMC Scout Sniper is a Marine highly skilled in field craft and marksmanship who can deliver a long range precision fire on selected targets from concealed positions. And as much as I'd love to replicate realistic combat strategies in Battlefield, uh, this is more of a run and gun shooter game. So sitting down and concealing yourself doesn't help out so much when there is a 3D spotting system. Who knows, maybe future Battlefield games will not have uh, such a heavy reliance on 3D spotting systems. The combination of the scope glint, 3D spotting systems, and UAVs basically just pinpointing your location on the map makes sitting stationary as a sniper almost pointless in this game, especially on maps like you see I'm playing right now here on Goldmud Railway. There is so much mortar spam on this map combined with UAVs, you just can't sit still. I mean, it's totally, totally ridiculous. So, unfortunately, you have to be dancing around as a sniper, and Battlefield was never really designed as a realistic sniping game. I mean, it's arcadey at best, though because it has such large maps and offers um, a bullet physics system. I was going to say realistic bullet physics, but a lot of the bolt action rifles in the game, the bullets actually don't travel at the speed that they probably would in real life. So lead times and stuff like that are not necessarily uh, realistic in Battlefield. But the fact that you do have to lead and compensate for time and distance makes this game a more realistic sniping game than most of the other arcadey shooters out there but if you want a really hardcore realistic sniping game there is a lot of milsim shooters to pick from arma and squad are two good ones that come to mind now that being said using a bolt action rifle in battlefield is certainly not a bad way to go the m40a5 is a good rifle because of its incredibly high rate of fire so if you miss your first shot you can follow it up with a second in no time at all if you hit a body shot uh, it's very helpful to have another fast shot follow that one up so you can down your target obviously hitting headshots is the best but because of the basically I think this gun has slightly slower muzzle velocity than some of the better bolt action rifles out there it does make it a harder weapon to use at further ranges against moving targets so it's not necessarily my ideal bolt action rifle but it's certainly one that can hold its own on just about any map regardless it will one shot headshot at any single range you engage your targets at so that's pretty nice now one thing that does kind of contradict the fast rate of fire of this gun and I say fast rate of fire it can shoot 51 rounds per minute which is considerably faster than many of the other bolt action rifles out there but it only has a five round magazine plus one more in the chamber so at any point you can have a maximum of six available shots now this is kind of an inaccuracy of the way that dice has represented the m40a5 in battlefield the M40A3 does have a 5 round magazine, but the M40A5 traditionally comes with a 10 round magazine. So the actual statistics of this gun are not necessarily accurate. I'm sure you can find a 5 round magazine for the M40A5, but I think it's pretty easy to get a 10 round magazine. And the way that the gun is actually displayed in the weapons menu shows it with the 10 round magazine. Not a huge deal overall, and I'm sure the round capacity is for balance reasons, but I think I would enjoy this gun a little bit more with that nice 10 round magazine, since I find myself reloading so frequently with this rifle, especially right in the middle of combat when I need it the most. Now, as I mentioned before, the muzzle velocities on bolt action rifles in this game, for the most part, are not accurate with their real life counterparts. They're not necessarily way off, but uh, faster muzzle velocities do make a pretty big difference 
for long range shooting and this one only has a 520 meter per second muzzle velocity. The real life one is rated at closer to 770 meters per second. So almost 800 meters per second, a significant difference. And uh, personally, the way that I like to snipe in Battlefield, I like to go for those moving targets all the time. They're fun, they're challenging targets to go for. And if you're gonna play an aggressive recon, which is definitely my style a bit more, then you're gonna need to be able to hit moving targets, even further away at moving targets consistently. And with slower muzzle velocities, it's just very hard because people can change directions on a dime in this game and animations of running soldiers are highly unpredictable and hard to hit so trying to predict uh, movement of somebody far away is pretty much impossible so faster muzzle velocities will give you a much greater chance of actually hitting your target and it's just something that the m48-5 can't really do that well which is unfortunate aesthetically it's probably one of my favorite bolt action rifles in the game historically it serves a very important role in many militaries around the world it's an incredible well-known precision rifle and its performance in Battlefield is just not quite where I want it to be. I like the rate of fire, but that's just about the only statistic on this gun that I do like. Because of this weapon's history and prevalence in the United States Marine Corps, there are a lot of loadout requests for this gun, and I often see it as sort of one of my top-rated sniper requests, and it just kind of sucks when the performance of the weapon doesn't live up to a lot of the other bolt-action rifles in this game that I prefer, like the JMG-90, M98B, or the SRR. 61. Now the loadout comment here gave me plenty of freedom in how to outfit this gun. I think my current setup is ideal. I like having an 8x optic with a variable zoom scope if I want to use it at long range. Um, no muzzle attachment whatsoever. Straight pull bolt is a must for pretty much any good sniper out there. I don't see any snipers using uh, bipods. It just doesn't really make any sense in this game. Um, as far as using a PLD, it can be effective if you're working with squad mates closely that are using rocket launchers to complement it. But other than that, I wouldn't really recommend the PLD for the most part. It's kind of cool to role play and think that they're binoculars, but I mean, there's plenty of other gadgets that would be significantly more useful. Spawn beacon, tugs, uh, motion sensing grenades, any of that stuff would be significantly more useful for just about any game mode. As for the sidearm, the M9 works just fine. I'd probably put a laser sight on there as well so I can hit fire a little bit more consistently as I really do enjoy hip firing sidearms in this game. I think it's a, a very effective and quick way to use them. That pretty much wraps it up for this week's episode of Loda. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave your comments for next week's episode and I'll see you guys next week. This is Level Cap signing off.